Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to Thursday, the 29th of September. Holy moly. Literally, September is all but over. <laughs> but uh, kind of off and on a little misty rain last night. Um, it, the fog so was, was so thick this morning that it seems like it's raining, but I think it's just a fog mist kind of a thing. But it's uh, 59 degrees. So one nice thing about the rainy weather, it kind of neutralizes the temperatures. But boy, when it gets clear, like in the middle of winter, wow, that's biting cold. But anyway, it's going to be a loner thing today. A little woman got up, took her shower, and she goes, I can't do it. Uh, my biggest fear is getting down there and not being able to do anything and be stuck there for hours. And I go, I think you should probably take another day off. She goes, I think I'm going to. I'm going to sit here for a little bit. And at the end, she goes, I'm, I'm just going to call in. Yeah, so it's just going to be me by myself. She, I mean, she can mobilize by herself good enough now that it wasn't like yesterday. So uh, anyway, let's roll. Goodbye from the porch in the automobile. Oh, I forgot this kind of thing. Made it to work safe and sound all by my lonesome. It was scary being all alone. <laughs> it's definitely been raining down here in Vancouver. I think the forecast is actually kind of lighter for um, Toledo than what was expected. But here we go, starting the day. So you remember the F3 that was sitting over there with the bent frame? They got totaled out. Well now, she owns this awesome Spider RT Standard. I love the standard ones. I mean, the trunk and everything is so convenient. And you can buy this and make your limited look like a standard by putting the, the back thing on there. But I don't know. There's just something more simple about it. Anyway, uh, it was one of those demo truck, BRP demo truck units. And uh, all of those came with one key from the auction. So uh, I went and programmed her a key. And then there was a premium, an optional premium cluster update. The bad thing is, is after I did it, she had a station on, and now it's just hiss. I, uh, if I remember right, I think it deletes the all the radio stations in there, so you might be mad at me for updating her dash, but she's cool. Super cool. But, uh, yeah, just got a whizzer up front to her. I've got her new program key in my, in my patchet, and she's got a premium update, and probably lost all of her channels. <laughs> <laughs> I never run radios on motorcycles, so I don't pay attention to any of that stuff. So. All right, let me get it back up to her. So we got the parts in for this state patrol bike. So that's my, uh, well, was well, going to be my first acquisition, but I got that other spider that was in here. I love this. Look at the spiders everywhere. God almighty. Is that cool or what? got spider fest going on down here in the bmw spider tech area somebody was asking me about adding a 12 volt fuse block in one of these things one well, i don't advise putting any crap like that in there but if you want to there's a lot of room you can even got some tie down points here that's the amplifier that's right behind there so I wouldn't put any heavy loads on it and there's no access straight down to that battery you'll have to go down the side here and then come through the battery tub and there's a lot of sharp metal pieces in there and you can literally put your set your stuff on fire be very very careful with that see how BM, BRP puts the sheathing over everything you need to have a lot of that on hand do not let any of those wires lay against that metal. Remember the 2013s that had the jumper port that was sitting right here? That's where most of the fires came from. It wasn't the bikes running hot. There was three lawsuits and BRP didn't pay one dime. It was a uh, knuckleheads on the road is what it was. Nothing to do with the supposed overheat thing. That was sure a funny time. And just proof of how people get something in their head. They did run warmer. 
and until you had a couple of updates it would uh distort the brake master cylinder on there but yeah wasn't catching the bike on fire wasn't doing anything weird like that they ran hotter because it was supposed to be the 1330 and they had to run the twin with new epa rules so the exhaust only the exhaust ran at a higher temperature that was it and then months later they got the approval from the epa to put the 20 essentially the 2012 flash to it and that was the end of it and then enough people kept crying that uh the feds got involved and made them put those air scoops on there Good Lord, the crazy things i had one harbor freight dude he about gives me a heart attack every day when he comes in here doing that all right on to the beamers He makes it known when he's here, I'm here to tell you. Really nice guy, but dang, man. You gotta scare the heck out of me like that. Mold, you know. <laughs> there he is right there. He's a cool guy. He's been coming here for years. All right, back to the old Beamheimer. So you notice the load has lightened a bit. The the couple with the, with the two RTs came and picked him up. And uh, started to chit-chat with them for a while. Super nice people. Boy, I tell you what. You know how you go, want to, <laughs> how you can go from hero to zero. I don't know if I mentioned you guys the other day. The guy was taking one of the big touring R18s out, a crate. And the gentleman's uh, petrol blue, he nicked the corner of his bag right there with that crate. So he immediately comes in and tells me that, you know, he hit it. And I said, well, make sure you tell the powers that be upstairs that, uh, you know, you hit the hit the, the bike. So anyway, he, down here, we're chit-chatting for a bit, and I'm going, he hasn't asked me anything about that bag. I said, they did tell you about the BMW attacking your BRP. Eyes bugged open. No, nobody said anything. After the customer left, I went up to his service advisor, and he just feels terrible. He absolutely forgot about it. So I'm going to get him all the correct part numbers and stuff and make sure we get this coming. Um, anyway, this is that BMW, and I replaced the switch. Remember I told you guys the, for the police lights? So now the police lights come on. They run for a few seconds, and then it kicks out. And um, when I was doing the diagnostic on this, I got to a point. I love when they do this, which I guess maybe that's just where you're at in the world. You get to a point where there's no further diagnosis until that is replaced. I'm going, okay. <laughs> I guess we need another one of them. And it says no further diagnosis possible until that motherboard is replaced. If I remember right, I'm, I'm not even going to look. I don't even want to know. That thing was stupid expensive. Well, I, I knew that I could take these two screws out and, boom, and pop this cover off. You think I can get it off? I can't even get to a pry point where I can pop it off. So ended up taking the whole thing and un, unwiring it out of, well, I'm not going to lift that back up. But, you know... All the, the craziness that's underneath there. I mean, we're going to lift it here a little bit. Oh, that menagerie. All that stuff in there. But uh, I just ended up pulling the thing off. I mean, somebody put it all in there, so obviously I can get it out, and I did. Took pictures of where all the zip ties were. It was very professionally done. You know, whoever installed all this stuff. I think some of this stuff is from BMW, but I'm not sure. But anyway got to replace that motherboard and it comes in a little tiny box this came in a big box but yeah it comes on it does its thing for for a few seconds and then it just powers down it's a it's finding a short somewhere in that light and that's what it says replace that and come back to diagnostics and, and we'll move on what's scary about that what if there's something else you know, we had to wait for this stuff. Had to wait for approval, you know, because they go through their channels, you know. 
and uh, got the stuff ordered and coming. What's well, here? And uh, what, what? What if I get back into diagnostics and it says, "Oh yeah, well, there's something else." You know, that's one of those things that you know, it'd be nice if it goes well. Since you're here, go ahead and check this and that, and whatever. Nope. No further diagnostics possible until that's replaced. <laughs> okay. So here we are. <laughs> so, good news. The actual front sprocket recall for 15 through 19 F3s and RTs has been announced today. Um, oddly enough, some of the stuff they're doing, some of the things I've seen um, other dealers through the dealer... There's a dealer forum that we have. It's just between dealers and BRP, and uh, some of the some of the dealers have been doing this with good, great success. And this is a um, this is what the solution is. So there's a different um, sprocket with a washer that goes on the backside of the sprocket between the engine and the sprocket, and then you have the bolt on the outside. They're using a different sealant. So, uh, yeah, pretty straightforward what it is. Um, parts in the U.S. Um, will be available mid-November is the estimated ETA. And uh, for Canada, um, should be the end of this month. So, anyway, with limited supplies. So, you know, it'll, it'll take away a bit for all this to wash out due to shortages and stuff like that. But the solution is out. This will be the new setup. Different. It's interesting. It's a different sealant there that they're using as well. But uh, I'll go into more details as soon as I know it's safe to do so. <laughs> it's actually talking with with BRP today over over something else. But anyway, um, that's it. That's my news. The bulletin is officially out. Parts will be coming slowly, I would imagine. So off we go. Let's finish up this old beamer. Holy moly. We're going to come out here and do a goodbye here in a minute. I thought I'd get a grasp of that right quick. Isn't that something? Look at them rain clouds coming over, though. So, I don't know if I mentioned... I might have mentioned at some point the, the rain that's supposed to be like 60 plus percent today ended up being hardly anything. It sprinkled on me a little bit on the way to work. That was it. Enough that it got spotted up the windows. <laughs> but uh, you know how my iPhone was supposed to be back to me on Monday? Well, <laughs> don't ever go find a, a FedEx drop box if you ever need to mail something. So I look and there's one over by Sportsman's, literally right across the road from the Walgreens that we dropped it off at because they have a FedEx thing on the inside of Walgreens. They didn't ship it until Tuesday. So Apple received it yesterday and I got a notification we received it. Um, it's being sent to our technicians to diagnose the, the problem. So today I get an email saying we've repaired your iPhone 12 mini and it's packaged and has been shipped. Here's your tracking number. It'll be here tomorrow. So they got it yesterday, and I'll have it tomorrow. Yesterday was Wednesday, day Thursday, tomorrow's Friday. But, oh, good Lord. The dude from BRP, he wanted something from me. Uh, I need to gather up that information and send it. Oh, he's like double, triple texting me here. But anyway, let me get with the little woman and do a goodbye. And uh, that'll be it for the day. So, uh, thank you guys for hanging around. And, uh, hang tight. A little, little woman's coming around the corner as we speak. Well, hello there, you two. Annie, come on. She's trying to get Sasha to play. Dagum dogs. <laughs> Sasha's back there all cocked. Look at her. Oh, she was all bent over like she's going in attack mode, you know. She's going to go chasing after <laughs> Man, I'll probably use it as a thumbnail. I had all them spiders all to gather down there. That's pretty cool. And then uh, all of a sudden they started going away one by one. Not all alone. Yeah. Well, I still got those 22s down there. 
need to get that um, amp put in that in that one mm. that you got to me. It's, just, it's yeah. a big old box and it's heavy. And I'm going, no, this is supposed to be an amp for spider radio. No, that's what it is. That thing's over four hundred bucks. Holy moly! Yeah, they're not cheap. Yeah, Abby, that's enough. So I was trying to get the part number for that uh, uh, luggage door, the outer panel, the colored panel, of course. And um, the uh, part side of BRP was down. I'll try tonight and I'll just email it to the service writer. So he'll have it first thing in the morning. Abby. Abby. Good Lord, dog. Goofy. But anyway, little woman looks like she's, looks like she's feeling a lot better. Hopefully she'll go tomorrow. I was telling her them poor parts people look like they were scrambling a few times and I went up there. Poor thing. <laughs> they look like they're handling it though. I don't think it was like a regular busy. It's just short handed that. You know, yeah, makes it busy. Yeah, you get a handful of customers. Oh my lord. Yeah. It's just me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Man, definitely had some days like that. Oh yeah. Five or six people lined up. You are the only person. Phones ringing off the hook. People yeah. are screaming. You guys don't ever answer the phone. It's just me. I know it. <laughs> I know you can. Can't you see I'm busy? <laughs> I know it. <laughs> but Abby, kick your butt, though. But anyway, I think on that we're gonna roll out on you. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Friday or Saturday. Thank you. All right. We'll see you then. We'll see you in the morning. Bye bye now. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>